Hey guys, what is up and I welcome each and every one of you to another gameplay of a set, of course, of League of Legends newest champion. For this one, guys, we're rocking the new skin. It looks pretty sexy, actually. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a spicy one. So, because of the way set works, because he's all about attacking, and his second attack is eight times faster than his attack speed. And, dude, I hear that kind of stuff, and I'm like... You, you gotta do some kind of on hit attack speed building you just you just have to you have to do it so for this game we're gonna be doing some kind of attack speed build um it's so hard to decide how i want to do it but i think we're gonna do something like this we're gonna go for uh like a, a blade of the rune king maybe a triforce um with a wit's hand a gwinsu's a phantom netcher for some crit as well maybe an infinity edge later you know sell boots and stuff I think it's going to be fun. So the idea of this game is just, with the Blade of the Rune King active effect, I think which will help us a lot, it's just going to be to stick on a target and just boom, 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 you know, just punch him to death. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the goal of this video. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. But let's just see what this champion can offer us with this kind of build. Now, we're facing an arm. Um... I'm not sure how that's going to go. I'm actually going to put opponent W first because I feel like he's going to harass me. And I think absorbing his damage to use as a W after it will be really good. Oh, my ping is 60, actually. Mm -hmm. The thing that's weird about PvE is that there's like two servers. Sometimes my ping is 20, sometimes it's 60. And I just felt the delay in my actions. It's not too crazy, obviously, but it's enough to feel it. So I looked up to the top right and I'm like, huh, my ping is pretty high. Unlucky. Triforce is definitely first item. See, I don't know. I think Triforce or Blade could be good as first items. I think Triforce might be the better first item into Blade, into like a Wood's End, into Rage Blade or something. I think though, like that could be pretty spicy, right? Into like a Phantom Dancer. Oh man, there's just there's so many items that I just want to get. I'll be honest. No, please. Oh, no. I thought that was on me. I'll be honest, but it wasn't. Unfortunate. Would have absorbed that damage. Yeah, so against a ranged matchup, it seems like W is definitely the way to go. Level 1, at least. Alright. Now he's, uh... Now he's on my terms, baby. This is where I really wish I had my E. If I had my E, I could pull up... Oh, I have it after this. Oh, he's running. He knows it. Ooh, that true damage from that W, though. You want to let that thing stack up, man. You want to let that passive stack up because you do more damage. Um, you get a bigger shield and you do more damage based on how much grit you have stored up. So that's very important, guys. Very important. And you have increased regeneration, uh, obviously based on health, which is why I think Triforce for this build could be really good. And this is like a legitimate build. I don't even think this is a troll build. Like, this could legitimately work. That is... I don't understand how that missed. I need assistance. I'm so dead. Oh, never mind. The graves with assist kill? Hey, we take those. No assist, to troll. Okay, let's go for that first. Let's go for Trapper's first item. Okay, I guess. Where's Narn? He has Ignite. Oh, did he not have Flash? I feel like he could have Flash and killed me. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining whatsoever. But I feel like he could have Flash and killed me there. If he hadn't. Assuming he hadn't. Alright, so the Phage will help us a lot. I think maybe we'll actually leave it at Phage. Maybe we'll just leave it at the Phage. Get that HP. All we really want from Triforce right now, at least, early game, is the HP and the movement speed. And I think Phage... Is perfect just to give us exactly what we want from that. So I think we might leave it at Phage and then go for Blade of the Rune King. Get that lifestyle, get that active effect from the Cutlass, which is what we really, really want to stick on the targets, you know? It's actually a lot of damage. It's a pretty good trade, actually. Because I have Halo Blades, guys, don't forget. We do have the Halo Blades coming in, too. I'm still maxing my Q because I don't really know what to max other than Q. I feel like if I got him there, he was dead. That was close. Every time I use my W, I keep thinking I'm Fiora and I actually take no damage. Like, I just absorb everything, period. And I realize every time after I use it that that's obviously not the case.
Whoa. Okay. I think we actually we figured something out here, I'll be honest. Uh yeah, that hail of blades is I kind of just took it because, you know, I thought it was okay. I honestly thought it, I thought it was a decent choice. Like it wasn't troll or anything, but I took it mainly for the attack speed, dawn hit, you know, kind of concept. But my goodness, it is so much better than I expected, I'll be honest. Like it's wow, that's a lot of damage because it's really fast. That's the best part. Because the second attack is eight times faster, you, you proc Halo Blades with essentially your first attack, let's say, and that instantly adds into your second attack, which comes out like blazing speed because Halo Blades gives you so much attack speed, and your second attack is eight times of that, essentially. I mean, that's what it seems like, at least. That's really, really good. Okay, I like that. I do like that. Very nice. I mean, let me see how this push out very slowly. Okay, yeah, I want, I want to let him push out. Let's go ahead and reset. We're going to reset. We're going to get our uh, phage. We're going to get the boots. And then we're going to start working towards... Fix. An enemy has been Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Okay, that's fine. Enemy double kill from the Katarina. Not a champion we like to see fed, boys. I'm sure not a champion we like to see fed whatsoever. Alright, let's push this in. Beautiful. I'm gonna reset. The Graves can do his thing while I do my thing, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll stay. Looks like we wanna push this in. So I'm thinking that time at is actually a really good item and it's like I want it I do want it in a normal build but I think for the sake of this video we're gonna skip the time at even though it just sounds absolutely gorgeous to have or we could just skip the Triforce I feel like we need the Triforce though I feel like the Triforce is is a fairly important one and now we go for the Blade of the Rune King this is where we start spicing it up though absolutely beautiful yeah once we get the blade i think that's where things will start getting interesting because the blade with the on hit effects the attack speed right and then we go for like maybe a wit's end right gives us a lot more attack speed gives us a lot more on hit damage especially again under 33 percent you heal a lot more i think that's where it'll really kick in um what else did i say i was gonna get this game and then we go for the guinsus we need the guinsus we still need the man, there's so many items i want to get it's hard to like it's hard to do this man Hmm, I mean, he has an ultimate now, but I do, so, I feel like if we fight, I win, personally. If I get my ultimate on him properly, you gotta use your E first, and then try to time your ult with his E. If I can do that, I think it's GG. Let's see. Well, you... Really? That was actually interesting. So what I did there was I actually queued the minion to proc or to, to get the second attack ready to go flash. And because the second attack is so fast and it's stronger because, you know, like with this passive, it just does more damage. So I just kill him. Seems to work pretty well, I guess. I'm going to get my E here, actually. We, we maxed our W second last game, like in the first game. Let's try maxing this instead. See how much better it is or worse. Oh. Oh. Oh, and then watch. Uh, 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 uh. Right, I like that. What is. Oh, Mamma Mia. I am a gunner. Oh, yeah, we're gunners. Alright, my bad. Oops. Okay. My bad. I didn't ward. I'll, okay. Sometimes I forget I'm on the PB server, I'll be honest. <laughs> Or rather, because I'm on PBE server, sometimes I forget to do the basics of League of Legends, such as warding. So, my bad. Unfortunate. Let's go get a pink ward. I think because, as punishment, we have to buy a pink ward. Uh, but luckily, we have TP, so we'll just TP right in. Uh, the Nara did ignite me, so I'll go ahead and pink that out for myself. Jesus. 
far as thirsty on me. I'm ready. Got him, boy. Let, let me. Never mind. I was gonna say, let me at him, boys. I got him. You know, finish him off with that ultimate. Unfortunately, the Graves had other plans, I guess. Okay, the Katarina is missing, so we're gonna go ahead and just push this out. She's not coming up river, she's in mid lane. Okay, beautiful. Nice. Because Graves is really strong with the whole. This game is snowballing really hard. I want to let him know not to snowball too hard because then I can't even get time to get my items to show off the build properly, so. Let's play slower. Because <clears throat> if the game snowballs too hard, we, you guys know how League of Legends is nowadays. Ooh, okay, let's see what we can do. He has no ults. Wow, that wasn't true damage, really? I <laughs> got him. I faked it out there. Okay. Yo, I like this. I like this E, man. We get first tower here too, boys. Let's go. Give me that first tower, lads. Yo, he's, an, he's a turret taker, boys. Like, seriously, this guy is really good at taking towers. Okay. Oh, God. Don't feed it to Katarina of all champions, so please. Please. Okay, let's push this in one more wave. I feel like I can kill the Snarl when he's back. I don't know why. I just have a feeling I can. Oh, now that we have the Soraka heal, I think we definitely can. Check it out. Okay, watch. I want to see if this blue's up first. If it's up, we take it. It's not up. Okay. No word there. Where's the Gnar? Where's the Gnar? Is he over here? No, he's up here. Okay, we have a lot of gold. Let's reset. Do we have enough for Blade yet, though? That's the question. 2400. Very close. Let's go ahead and take this. He's about to transform, it's too risky. I'm gonna just reset. If he wasn't close to his transformation, I would fight him. But he is. It's, it's too I think he'll beat me in his transformation form. But we have Blade of the Rune King, which is our first step towards total domination, I guess. So, now with the active effect, especially against someone like Gnar when he's in ranged form, it's a lot harder for him to get away from me. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we can do, boys. Lads. Oh, he's staying, though. He's staying. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not going for him, because I want I do want the siesta, I'll be honest. It just it does feel like Vi. Like in that kind of combo, it actually feels a lot like Vi. If you're a Vi player, man, this is the champion for you. If you want to like, you know, switch up a little bit, but not too much, I guess. That felt like a Vi combo. Don't forget, if you slam at least two people from each, oh, one person from each side or two total, I guess, in that case, it stuns as opposed to slows, which is why he got stunned there. So with that, you use the Halo Blades, you know, F him up, I guess you can say. Uh, Q whenever possible, more or less. Preferably after the second auto attack. So you go like this, one, two, Q, Q, right? Um, it's just a better, it's just better damage overall. Um, oh, so yeah. And then you try to follow up with your ult when you have to gap close again. I want to see if this red is up. Or blue, rather. Is up. Do you think he'll actually check this bush after? I don't have no ultimate, so I don't know if I can actually kill him. He could probably get away from me. But maybe if he goes big for him? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's coming here. Serious. That was in range. Come here. Oh no. 
okay. Well, there's the Katarina. Uh, she is really fed. Even if I W, maybe I would have killed the Nar, but I was dead to Katarina 100%. There's no way I get out of that. Yo, I okay, if I had my ultimate here, though, oh my god, that damage is actually ridiculous. It just sucks that Nar has a jump away and like a lot of CC, so he can, he can get away fairly easily if I have an ultimate, which kind of sucks, but... That is crazy damage, though. Um, did we just finish the Triforce, I guess? I, I mean, I guess we just finished the Triforce. I mean... Um, I mean, I guess we do. I guess we do. So, we'll finish off the Triforce. This Katarina is super strong. Oh, you, you dead. You, you dead. You dead, boy. You dead. Oh, mama. Are you serious? Thank God. No, tell me, yo, Nars, that champion is just... He's got tools everywhere to get away, huh? He, he's so good at running. You know, my champion is not a champion that's good at running. He's just a champion that wants to just stand there and battle you to death. Other than Jax. I think Jax might... Okay. That's what I to see. Let's go, baby. Me and you, right now. I'm not ulting, yo. I don't have to ult. Ult? Who needs ult? Not when you have a Blade of the Rune King. Yo, this blade seems really good. The attack speed is nice. The active effect is nice, even though I didn't use it. But the life steal, very nice as well, because you attack so often. So fast. Hmm. Yay. Can I dive this Nar? I wonder. I actually really want Blade of the Rune King. Or, sorry, uh, Rage Blade. I really want a Rage Blade. This build is a lot of fun. I like this build. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, we take those. That's worth, baby. We take those. I think I could have killed them if I played it better. The issue is I have to go behind them in order to actually use a bomb. Oh. I have to go behind him in order to use my ult properly because if I don't, then it brings me into tower there. In that case, I was I'm like whatever, I'll just die for it, worth it. But normally, what you want to do is you want to, you know, face like I guess away from the tower or something like that. Grace is barely getting out. This Katarina is probably gonna thirst for it though. No, nope, maybe not. Oh, well, that's dangerous. If I was Katarina, man, yeah, I'm telling you, I would be running for that. Luckily, she's not checking the other part. 1433, nice. All right, all right. Do 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 do. Now we can go for uh, probably a Wit's End and Rage Blade. I think those are the next two items we'll go for. I'm not sure which one. Wit's End probably makes more sense. It is a more early game item, I think. So I think we should go for Wit's End. But man, I just, I really do want the Rage Blade. I'll be honest. I, I really do. Like I want it so bad, so bad. I also really want a Phantom Dancer. <laughs> Okay. He's gonna keep pushing. He always keeps. He's, he never stops pushing. He's always pushing, right? There's no reason he'll stop. Come on, Nar. Maybe he's doing Herald. No, he can't. Do it. I don't know what he's doing. Yikes. Oh. Uh oh. Ruh oh, boys. Ruh oh. The Katarina. She's getting strong. I can probably get the oh this Ezreal okay never mind this Ezreal's looking like a snack question is is he gonna keep pushing he is gonna keep pushing I'm not gonna lie that's kind of tilting what dude this tower did 1200 to me okay I should have ulted him away from the thing. Holy fuck. I'm so fucking sad. Dude, I should have fucking ultied him. Why didn't I just ulti him here? Oh, if I just ultied him here. I'm so sad right now. You have no idea. Mmm, that's actually so upsetting. Okay, whatever. Where's the wood's end? It's here. So they both go from a recurve bow. So I guess we'll get that first. 
God, Nar is just such an annoying champion to kill as a melee champion. It just feels like he has so many tools to just stop me, you know? Okay, he's still top. I'm just gonna go top and kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little salty. We're just gonna go top and kill him. I'm, I'm pretty salty about that. I, I, I have to, I need to kill him now. I'm just, it just, it's not gonna feel right unless I kill him literally right here, right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And that was the last death, boys. No more deaths for us. Okay, now we have our ultimate, so we're just gonna start with it, I think. Get Jess over here. No more, dude. We're, I've learned my lesson. You just start with the ultimate. You know what? You don't need to do anything other than that. Start with the ultimate. The damage is absolutely ridiculous. Especially when he's building like this. And, uh, yeah, we just kill him with an auto. Auto, auto, auto. God, the attack speed is so fast, though. It's crazy. What's the cooldown? 72 seconds. Not bad, actually. Alright, well. There is way too many people up here, so I'm, I, I think I'll, you know, we'll chill for a little bit. That is too many people, my friends. Too many. That is a lot of people up here. Hmm. How strong is our Senna? Pretty strong. What happened to my ultimate? Wait, what happened to my ultimate? How did I not kill her? <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm getting these Merc Boots. I'm done with this CC, man. I'm, no more CC. That's it. No more. We get the Merc Boots, boys. That's it. That's just how it goes. If, if, I, if they're going to keep CC me with this stuff and the Zyra and everything, we get the Merc Boots. And now we just do what we want to do. I want to TP and kill this Ezreal. Check it out. I want to TP to this Warden. Oh, yeah. He's pushing it. Let's go. Mr. Nipples. Dude, what is that TP? You're going to scare him off, man. No, maybe not. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? My turn. My turn! I got him. Let me at him, boys. Let me at him. That's a lot of damage, actually, that Ezreal does. What? What the fuck? Wait, he's actually like so behind, but he does that much damage to me? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, he has a frozen heart. Okay, I was wondering why. It makes sense. Guy has a frozen heart, boys. Katarina will literally kill us. I am good to go. Thank you guys. I will peace. You do your thing. I'll do my thing. You know, that's how it works. I actually would rather face the Nar in his mega form. At least there, he pretty much has to fight me. As opposed to the mini Nar where he can kite me. Okay, let me push this top right here. I mean, I think the Wood Santa is going to help quite a bit, though, because I'm pretty sure Nar does do a decent amount of magical damage like with his W passive, right? I'm pretty sure it's magical. I need ultimate. If I have ultimate, I can kill her so easily. As a spooky champion, she's 15 and 5. That's the only reason I'm so scared of her. <laughs> she's so fed. Luckily, I get a lot of life back here. Your 
Come here, Katarina. Come here, girl. Oh, the slow though. Where are you going, huh? Come here. Even after you owe the Katarina, she just instantly dashes right back out. It's like this guy is doing this massive pulverize on her face, smashes her down into the ground, and she just gets right back up and jumps away. Like what? It's kind of like in, it's kind of like in Mortal Kombat, you know, when you do your finisher on them or whatever. Not the finisher, but like that really crazy move where you literally break their ribs and like you break their skull and everything, and then they just get right back up as if nothing happened. It's like it's kind of like that. I feel like. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna get Rageblade. I don't really want the Wood 10 anymore. Oh, not yet. I think Rageblade will be so much more interesting to look at. 2500. Let's farm for that 2500. Once we get the Rageblade gold, we'll recall. I wanna take the jungle, and after that, I should have enough. My ultimate should be off. And we'll kill the Nar. Oh. Oh, good, okay, thanks. Maybe we'll take the Red Buff. I just need a little more. I need 100 gold. Red Buff will be perfect. That'll give me exactly what I want. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, maybe Graves wants it. I kind of want it. That is so fast. That is actually crazy. My god. Alright, so now we have the gold. We're gonna get the Rage Blade. I think that's just more fun. The AP is useless, but that's the only useless part, really. And it's more of just for fun, I think, too. And then we'll go for Wood's Hand and Phantom Dancer, I think, as our last two items. Yeah. I think I'll go Phantom Dancer first. At this point, it's like, is there even a point in getting the Wood's End? Honestly? Maybe not. This ward should be gone. Let's see what he does. Is he still pushing? Looks like he is. Yeah, he is. Let's wait for him to get to Meganar. You, dude, no more getting away. Please stop jumping away from me all the time. Please. No more. Alright. That would dude, that rage blade. Watch. The second it stacks up, look at this. Look how fast that is. Oh my god. Wait. I wanna try doing Baron. I, I mean I don't think I can do it, but it could be interesting to try. Just see how far we can get, I guess, you know? Let's see. That extra attack speed I get from the Soraka. I think I can solo it. Yeah, I'm soloing Baron, literally. Alright, well, apparently you can solo Baron with this build because you just have so much attack speed, and I guess the lifesteal just from Blade of the Rune King is enough. I'm pretty sure even without the Soraka's uh, AoE heal, like, I think I would have had it. It would have been closer for sure, but I think I would have had it, like, pretty convincingly, too. Damn. It's really interesting. I like that. It's really cool. Let's go. One-on-one, -on -one, baby. Let's go. Me and you. Come at. Dude. Oh my god. I can't wait till I get the Phantom Dancer too and just start critting on top of everything else. That's gonna be just ridiculous, I think. This is actually really fun. The champions all actually like surprisingly not surprisingly, but he is a lot of fun. Just watching him literally clobber people in the face with like his literal fists. And I like how the second fist is faster. I think that's a really big like reason as to why he's fun. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. She just got clobbered in the face, lads. Oh, you guys are chilling over there. I feel this lifesteal, though. Imagine if I get a, bl a Bloodthirst or, or something. Whew. Look at this. This tower taking damage, man. Over fight. I have enough for Phantom Mancer. Nice. Beautiful. We don't have the Wits End, but you know what? Screw the Wits End. We don't need it. We'll do it live, baby. We'll do it live. We don't need the Wits End. I oh, I need a potion. Let's get the red one. You got a boss. True. I am the boss. That is his name. Let's get the red potion. Your team has destroyed the Dude. This is a fun build, man. I like this build. Just because he, he just really utilizes passive with that attack speed. Attack speed increases the speed of both punches. Oh my god, with the crit. Oh my god. Alright. What about Sanguine Blade? That could be pretty good too. That could actually be pretty good too. Let's find somebody. What's up, baby? Who's next? Ezra? Yeah, I guess Ezra is next. Dude, that was the first good ult I've had. I ulted the Gnar into the Zyra, and she's so squishy that the second you ult them together like that, because they're together, you use your E to follow up. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Come here. That was really sick, GG. Game's over. Alright guys, so there you guys have it. The attack speed, critical strike, on hit build. Literally all together in one build. Let me know what you think about it down below. Uh, it's, it's sick. If I was facing a melee top laner, I think it would have been even more OP. Just because they wouldn't be able to run away constantly from me. But that's a sick build. I like that build. That's That was a lot of fun. Seriously. You guys need to try that once he comes out. Super fun to play and actually surprisingly really, really, really strong. Uh, in a one-on-one, -on -one. but either way, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Peace, peace.